Hello, and welcome to Lunch with the Ladies. I'm Carol Zumwalt, the pastor of New Life Church here in Peru, Indiana, and I'm with my daughter Kimberly Fuqua. Hello. And she is a Mary, oh, I'm not supposed to say that. No, I'm not supposed to say she's a Mary Kate consultant, <laughs> so just forget that I said that. <laughs> and we are going to talk today um, about thankfulness, how, how being thankful in all situations, in every circumstance, and what, because uh, we were thinking about next week being Thanksgiving, we are planning on going to Illinois next week, uh, leaving on Wednesday, so we probably won't be meeting with you for lunch uh, next Wednesday. Just well, let's just go ahead and say we won't be here for lunch next Wednesday. <laughs> That's, let's just go ahead so, and say that. By faith, we are going to, by, to Well, Illinois. I'm not leaving until Friday. No, but, she's not leaving until anyway, Friday. But, but yeah. <laughs> I just, you know, I'm. you're just going to get a break from us for a week. So we'll be back in two weeks. So, um, but remember, you can find us on our New Life Church of Peru page on Facebook. Mm -hmm. You can find us on our New Life Church of Peru um, YouTube channel. Um, and we have always looking to uh, for info for ideas that you guys have might have questions you might have prayer requests that you might have. You can message us on Facebook. You can. Um, on our Facebook page, there is a phone number you can text us or call us. The um, church email is also on that page, and feel free to send us an email. We'd love to hear from you. Uh, give us some feedback. Uh, please, please speak, give us uh, you feedback. Know, <laughs> if we have uh, prayed with you, um, we'd love to hear a report on mm -hmm. um, how things are going and um, follow up with that. But yes, we won't be here next week, but there are plenty of, you can just next week just go and um rewatch your favorite episode yeah. how's that <laughs> <That's> a, <laughs> like there we go <laughs> so you know how like the, the tv shows they take sabbaticals and they do on reruns so you could just you go do select a, your own rerun do a rerun <laughs> <laughs> oh well you know we were thinking about being thankful and um it, it's been i don't know about you but i've had to stir myself up a lot lately uh, trying to think you know uh, pr things to, to praise God praise him about and, and how to it just I haven't listened to the news I don't listen to the news I just hear hear say like things I hear at the Y or at uh, or the family I don't to that. <laughs> or for the families no the ladies at the, in my classes that they're they're pretty positive well, about good. things you know, they're, <laughs> but, uh, they just report what they've heard you know mm -hmm. so I, and I appreciate it but um, I was just you know just be speaking from my heart it's been hard it's been hard to not not to find things to be thankful for you know I can find things to be thankful for but it's been hard and I've been really battling you know sadness mm -hmm. because of everything that's going on and and you see people of course you, <laughs> you see them with their masks on so you can't tell whether they're smiling or if they're happy or if they're sad or you know but it's it just it's been um, it's been hard different and I know you know but with with Jesus in our hearts it mm -hmm. makes it a whole lot easier for sure so um when I know with the some of the crazy governors I, I haven't even heard what I don't I didn't hear what our governor said about Thanksgiving but I know there's some states where there's some crazy crazy restrictions mm -hmm. and I mean like 10 people in your home and they're expecting the police to come and check and <laughs> There are sheriffs that ha and, and, and there are sheriffs that said we won't do it. Like we don't have that in our like they're like we don't have that in our budget. Like to go so I mean, there's just some crazy stuff well, going I've on. Well, I heard they it, call, they call play some place the uh, National Guard. Yeah, the so, National Guard. They've called out National Guard. Well, National Guard. Guard's supposed to be coming into the nursing homes. And the nursing homes. But anyway, we're not going to talk about that today. Cause right. You can find <laughs> that on. And I I am very I am very. Um, guarded with what news sources I do listen to. I know I've shared the Victory the Victory Channel, um, Stand America, or mm -hmm. America Stands, I'm sorry, is their program. Um, but they also have news programs on there. And yesterday or earlier this week, I don't remember, um, they put out a list of 
alternative news media sources that are unbiased. Um, one of my favorite is the Epic Times, E P O C H Times, and um, if if I have a screenshot of the things that they the news Newsmax and um, I can post that screenshot on the page too. If you want to find some unbiased um, truth, facts um, that are getting kind of filtered out of mainstream media, when you mm -hmm. focus on the facts, um, it gets a little bit easier to um, stay positive and thankful that we're in the community that we're in. Yeah. Yes. Um, yes. One thing that I am very grateful for, uh, if you're looking at, you know, the, the numbers. <laughs> okay, I'm not, the, numbers. the numbers, like the numbers. I, I am, I, you know, um, when you, when you hear those reports and you see those things, it gets a little, um, unnerving and a little bit alarming and, um, I forget where I was going with my train of thought here, so <laughs> hold on just a second. One thing you're really grateful for. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> grateful. I am grateful that, you know, we live in a smaller rural community yes. where, you yes. know, we don't have, you know, the numbers here. Uh, apparently, they're getting bad. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't even know how to read the numbers. Like, I tried to look on the face, the website that the governor set up. And months ago, it made sense to me. It doesn't even make sense to me yeah, anymore. I don't even, I, I don't even know what I'm looking at. So um, it's like reading a foreign language to me. So I stop looking and I just pray. I just pray. And if people tell me it's getting bad in Miami County, well, then I suppose it's getting bad. I, I don't know. But anyway, um, <coughs> the cities, the larger cities, have been you know fighting this for months, mm -hmm. and we all have. But um, the larger cities, they're the ones that, you know, the hospitals were getting overwhelmed at the beginning. And I think that we've gotten a good handle on it sometimes. Not that we should, I don't know, I you know, just not that we should ignore precaution or anything like that. But, um, you know, it's just different here than it yeah. is in the big cities. And I'm grateful for that. And, you know, it's, talking about being grateful, you know, I think I was, my uh, granddaughter brought home, a, it was a little turkey that she had made. She cut the turkey out and then put some little paper feathers on it, you know, and she's learning to write, learning to read, learning to spell, you know, and so she says, and one of the feathers says, I am thankful. And then the, the very first thing that she was thankful for was God. Oh, praise the Lord. And I thought, thank Aww. you, Lord, that, you know, we're teaching the young mm -hmm. people, the, the new gen generation, you know, about God, about, and she talks a lot, you know, about Jesus. And she, she hear her telling Emma, you know, Jesus loves you more than mommy and daddy could ever <laughs> love us, you know, but Jesus, his love is just greater. And she, she just goes on and on, you know, and I, I am so thankful, you know, for a family that, that does have God in the center of it, you know. And uh, I, when I was thinking, you know, about, all of the things that I am thankful for, you know, I am so thankful that we have a president, you know, that yeah. stands up and has the boldness that he yeah. has and has the, the, uh, business knowledge, mm -hmm. you know, that he has. And, and I'm so thankful for our governor, you know, because you talk about some of the restrictions in some of the other states, you know, but the one, the one scripture that kept coming, you know, to my mind was about the 10 lepers. When Jesus, you yes. know, when they they uh, came to Jesus and he healed, he healed all ten of them. But and that he said, go and go and show yourselves to the priest because that was the the uh, mm -hmm. custom. You know, once they were healed, they had to go and show themselves to the priest and get you know, the clean bill of health. I guess of what it was. But they all ten were healed, but there was only one that came back mm -hmm. to say thank. Thank you, and you know, to, and he was the one. He was totally restored, where he could. You know, the other nine could have had, and could have had that total be made mm -hmm. whole. Be uh, because in leprosy, you know, you you lose body parts. You know, you, you things just dis disintegrated. They, you know, and they, um, and there's just things that that 
he, the, the, the uh, leper that came back and it was <coughs> thankful, mm -hmm. he, he was totally made whole. So any parts of his mm -hmm. body sure. that was, you know, uh, was taken away because of the uh, leprosy, they, he was totally restored. Mm -hmm. And that's why, you know, it's so important to be thankful and to praise God. You know, and you hear, uh, I was, I had the message on, you know, uh, Job when he was, when he got all of the bad news, mm -hmm. the first thing he did was, you know, he, he worshiped God. God. Mm -hmm. And, you know, how can you worship God when you, you know, you've lost your family, you've lost your livestock, you lost, lost <laughs> everything. Sure. But he knew that in the worship and in the praise and in, in a thankful heart, then that's where, that's where the total restoration yes. is. Mm -hmm. And it's like, uh, you know, and, and I, I just can't help but think, you know, those, those other, nine, the other, other nine, if they would have come back and, you know, been grateful and, and said thank you and, and worshipped Jesus. Sure. They would have been restored also. Sure. Go ahead. Uh, well, and I was thinking of, you know, I was changing subjects. So if you were, I wanted to make sure you were, not changing subjects, but like going it. I was thinking of, you know, when we're not thankful for what we have, mm. like God can't give us more. Yeah. And so like, I mean, in a way, yeah, the, the lepers, they went, they got their healing they could have come back and got more. Mm -hmm. They could have come back and got that full restoration. Mm -hmm. um, the thought, you know, um, if you're like, you know, believing for like a new vehicle or a new house, well, are you taking care of the one that you exactly. have? Exactly. You yes, know, um, exactly. if you're looking for a new job, well, are you being faithful in the one that you have? Mm -hmm. Are you, you know, and being faithful in a job, are you showing up on time with the right attitude? Mm -hmm. Are you, you know, um, if, if are you what are you saying about your boss uh -huh. you know um are you thankful i mean i there was a lady um the other day i went into one of the gas stations and i forget i forget what she'd said or something someone said something about the day or she was i she made a comment about her um her long shift or something. I don't. I don't remember. And I said, "Yeah, but I bet you're grateful you have a job." And she I goes, "Oh job. yes, I am so grateful I have a job." So you know, it's real easy to you know, we get we start complaining. We do. We do about you know all this. Complain about that. Complain about you know what I don't have mm -hmm. and how someone treated me or you know. <laughs> and you you mentioned you know uh, how are you are you taking care of what we do have? Mm -hmm. I actually experienced that we had a, a, a it was an old station wagon, and uh, it was you know it, we really needed a new vehicle, and I, I kind of let it you know didn't wash it didn't clean it yeah. out you know and just kind of let it go, and God spoke to me and He said you want you asking for something new something nicer. And something that you can more dependable. And uh, he said, well, "How are you taking care of the one that you yeah. have?" And you know that just really kind of like smacked me upside the head. You know, like, "Oh yeah, duh." And so I started taking, I started washing it and cleaning it out, and I started talking nicer to it. You know? <laughs> right. When it wouldn't, when it wouldn't run, it wouldn't start. You know, it's like, "Oh, I," you know, it just okay, oh, instead of kicking the tire, you know, or or say, "Oh, you stupid thing," you know, but. I started talking, you know, talking nicer mm -hmm. about, and it wasn't long before we had a different vehicle. And I think, you know, we the attitude that we have, we have you heard the saying, the attitude of gratitude, and that's exactly, you know, what we need. And we can mm -hmm. always, always find something yeah. to be thankful about. And I remember we uh, one year when we went down to uh, my sister in law's for Thanksgiving. She went around, the, told everybody to go around the table and say, you know, what are you thankful for? And then she would say, she, one, t one year she said, how are you thankful for the person, person, the next, person to next to you? And it was kind of hard because when you sit, you're sitting next to somebody you don't know very well, you know. But you can always We have a large family on that side. Yeah, <laughs> on that side, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I don't remember, they're like, like 27 or 32. They won't all be there this year. No. <laughs> No, 
No, I think we did have like 25 or something. Yeah, no, there was a lot, but... And I feel like that might have been the first time Randy was there, oh. and he didn't, I mean, he knew nobody. Like, he never met everybody like the day before, or no, that morning, no, he met everybody morning, that morning, morning or yeah. that afternoon, whatever, so yeah, yeah. So, anyway, yeah so... But, you know, there's, there's so many, so much... Mm -hmm. You know, to be thankful for. And, you know, I was thinking about, you know, our salvation. You know, the greatest miracle is the, is the new birth. When Jesus comes in, you know, into our hearts and, and we become new creatures, you know. Uh, and it's just, and, and all the things that entail, you know, in mm -hmm. salvation. You know, there's healing and prosperity and there's, you know, the deliverance and the redemption. And there's just so much in that one package, sure. you know, that we could just, just be so thin. You know, I think I've just about talked myself happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, oh. yeah. So I think so I'm ready to go out and <laughs> shop or some, do something, you know. <laughs> but you, but, but, and it's, that's true. You know, we have to talk about the things yeah, so that, it, yeah. and, and think mm -hmm. about, you know, and I think I shared with this last time is that, um, when my thoughts start going the wrong direction, I, the Holy Spirit says, think on the things. They're, they're good. Think on mm -hmm. the things. Mm -hmm. Think on the things. And then they're I thought, good. oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> and, and it's like, think, and it's, it's just, awesome. and it, it just keep going back, mm -hmm. you know, think on the things that are true, that are honest, that are just, things that are pure, that are things that are, that are lovely, things that are of a good report, sure. you know, and I just, and I don't know how many times, you know, Especially when I'm driving in, in you know, and, I'm, and I'm, my mind is, th I'm, I'm driving, you sure. know, following the speed limit and all that stuff. But, you know, your mind still goes other directions. And mm -hmm. I don't know how many times, because uh, I leave here at Tyndall 6 on Mondays and Tuesdays, you know, and uh, it's dark. And it's like, my, and then my mind, my mind just starts trying to wander. And I don't know how many times he's brought it back. He says, think on the sure. things that are true, that are honest. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering, I mean, if you're really struggling to be thankful for something and you're awake, I mean, you can be thankful that you got, I mean, that you're alive. That you're alive. I mean, that you got another day. Yeah. I mean, we, none of us are Thank, promised the next. Thankful the breath, we, every yes. breath that we I take, mean, you know. There are a lot of people that won't wake up. And, yeah. Know, they'll go to sleep at night and they won't wake up. And yeah. So, you know, grateful that I woke up this morning. Grateful that, you know. I can get out of bed. I can get out of bed, you know. <laughs> I was okay. down at the Y this morning and it was like, oh, oh, you know, the pain. And she did something different. I thought, oh, you know. And it was, so she switched up the routine and it was like, oh, I'm, and I, and I kept thinking, I am thankful. I am thankful I can do this. I may not be able to do it as yeah. fast as she's doing it, but I'm, I'm so thankful that I can do it. Yeah. You know. And I think, um, I heard somebody say one time that um, there's always somebody who has it worse off than you. Yes. yes. And so, like, you're, you're saying, you know, you couldn't do as much, do, do it as fast as she was doing it, but there's someone else that probably couldn't do it as fast as you were doing it. Yeah. You, maybe not, it, you were watching because you're focused on you. I was say, I try not to her, watch others. <laughs> and it's, you shouldn't be comparing anyway, and that's a whole different topic that's for a yeah. whole other day. Yeah. But yeah, we can, we can be thankful for the things that we have, you know. Like if you're thankful for a, a job, you're thankful for, you know, like maybe if you don't have a job, maybe, you know, you're thankful for your roof over your head and yeah. you know if you don't have a roof over your head do you have food like do you have clothes are you warm do you have do you have people in your life that you know care about you um we care about you we so care. Yeah. um if i we're hope we're part of your life and we do care about you and you know you know what it might be fun because they can do comments those of you that are watching just Comment on something that you're thankful for, and, and we'd like to see your comments and like to know you're watching. And um, there, there may be things that you know you think about that we don't even think about. You know things that that, um, and I think so many times we just take things for granted. We do. Mm -hmm. And you know the, my my van. There's it's been I don't know whether it, sometimes when I push the button, you know, it, it starts, but then it stops again, 
and it's you know and I, and I think you know I expect to get in that van you know and for it to run so I started saying I'm just so thankful that every time I get in you know it's it's running and it's running smoothly and it's you know um, and, and it just it's so many things that we take for granted mm -hmm. and I you know one thing we take our family members for oh, granted totally. and I sure. Um, I just really, you know how much I love to cook. I do not like to cook. Well, I've been thankful the last... Thank week. God Dad does. I, I am so, <laughs> sad. I am so thankful that Larry likes to cook. Because uh, I, when I go to, over to Kokomo on Mondays and Tuesdays, I don't get home like till after till 5.30, 6 o'clock. And then to think about cooking, it's just like, ugh. So Larry's been cooking on Mondays and Tuesdays, which is, I am so grateful for, so thankful for that. And so, you know, I do appreciate it. And I know we don't tell our family members, you know, how much we appreciate them and how much we're thankful for them. And you, you say that, and one which made me think about family members, um, I've heard it said that one of the biggest reasons this person that this per it was the person it was her opinion that the one of the biggest reasons for um marriages ending in divorce is that the people became ungrateful oh well that makes a whole lot of sense because she's you know she said you have to remember that that person chose you yes. <laughs> like that person agreed to take everything that they were and everything mm. that they had and give it to you. Yes. <laughs> and for better or for, for worse. For better or for worse, for right? Sure. And <laughs> so people become ungrateful. I was, the, there was, I, you just, in the morning, sometimes you just wake up and your just head is in the wrong place. It is. And yeah. you're thinking about like, uh, you know, all the things that your spouse has done wrong for the eternity of, like, your whole entire marriage. I don't even know what, like, we, nothing. <laughs> I am so grateful for my husband. And he doesn't usually, I don't think he usually watches. So he can't, he's well, at he's work. Working. But he, I don't know, he ever goes back and sees us. <laughs> he did nothing this morning. We were fine. Every, but for some reason this morning, I just, wow. There was a memory that, like, I woke up this morning and there was a memory, and I was like, "What? Are, you know, our anniversary is coming up next month, and uh -huh. or we're we here ten, ten, ten years, years. ten yeah. years." Wow. And so I don't know. You just the craziest things, like you start to think about. And I woke up and I had this memory of something that happened ages ago, and it was like, why? Why but so then, so I'm like, instead of like, why am I thinking about this? I started like, all the other things that I said, I, he has done over the course of <laughs> ten years, and then I, this is stupid. I am so grateful for him. I am so grateful for the fact. I have heard women complain that their husbands don't do anything around the house. I am grateful that my husband probably does the dishes more often. We don't have dishwasher. Um, I joke and say I have a dishwasher. His name's Randy. Um, <laughs> But he washes dishes just probably more than I do. Um, I have really been trying to step that up <laughs> because I am grateful. He um, he's been known to run the vacuum cleaner if needed, sweep the floor. He takes out the trash every week without you know even being reminded. I think I can remember two times in our entire marriage that he's forgot to take the trash out. Um, and I am so, I, the, so those were the things, I started being so grateful and overwhelmed with the gratitude that I had for him this morning. Mm -hmm. And then, um, you know, and on top of that, like, he just sees such a balance to me. I think I've shared when, when I'm starting to go off the deep end, he just comes in with some wisdom. <laughs> and That's so just, it, He does, he really does. <laughs> like, you know, well, <laughs> what's the big deal? Kind of like when, um... <coughs> our when our first when my sister's first daughter was born ironically <laughs> when her when her third kid was born it couldn't be there either but when her first kid was born it was in the middle of a flu a flu outbreak mm -hmm. in December yeah, and so only mom and dad only mom and dad and grandma and grandpa could go in so aunt and uncle didn't get to go in and I was not happy I had been my I'm the older sister so I had literally been there for my sister every single milestone this was her 
first child, I was her aunt, I was, you know, I was my, be there for my sister, and I was throwing a fit about it, and I even talked to my aunt who lived in Illinois, and she felt bad, she said, oh, she said, she made me feel better, because she said, you know, you'll have time with, with your niece all by yourself, and, and she said she was feeling bad, because she couldn't even, she couldn't be there, and she was, I really feel bad for you, so she helped encourage me, and, but it didn't, there's still that day I had trouble and I was just I mean I was almost I was pretty much in tears like mm -hmm. throwing a little just <laughs> and then Randy God love him he says to me well because my brother-in-law has two brothers and at that time one of them was married and um he says well don't you think that <laughs> those three they feel the same <laughs> they way they feel the same way yeah and I just looked at like <laughs> So yeah, basically, so basically, what Randy was saying was, "I'm making this all about me. You're not the, and I think, I'm not the only one that's going through this." What? I think I think that's one thing too. You know why we become mm -hmm. ungrateful because we do we make do. it about we ourselves. Become very selfish. And this is what you know. Jesus was all about everyone else. Mm -hmm. I mean, nothing. I mean, he gave his life. Right. You know what more could he give? You can't. Yes. You know. And but I think too many times we you know. Like, we start complaining or griping mm -hmm. and because we make it about us and yeah. that's John said you know I must decrease so that he sure. can increase and that's what you know we need to do uh, it with ourselves and I was thinking you know also I was trying to think about talking about obedience and or thankfulness today and um, I was thinking on with obedience Jesus was so obedient that he went to the cross right. And in the in the middle, I can, I'm not a very good speller, and with spell, you know, with the way you can spell check now, it's, I'm, I'm even worse, you know. But I never could remember how to spell obedience. Mm -hmm. And then someone pointed out that right in the middle of the word obedience is the word die, mm -hmm. and that means you know you have to die to mm -hmm. yourself. And it, that's what obedience mm -hmm. is. And when we make it about ourselves, we're not dying to ourselves. No. And we're not being grateful. Yeah. We're not being thankful for what we do have. And it's, just, it's kind of like those those things just like tied together. Mm -hmm. And and this is, uh, you know, we're coming into the season, you know, Christmas. And, and we want to give, you know, we want, want it to be able to give. And, and this is something that... Uh, Okay. It's something that, you know, I always battle with as, at Christmas time because I always feel like I want to give more than what my finances allow. Right. And, you know, it's it's just really hard. But, Very again... thankful for what you can big give. Big thing, being thankful yes. for what... And I think back, you know, in, in the Little House on the Prairie days, they were thankful for an apple or a, play, a pair of gloves or a pair of socks or... Well, it was like we were with... Um, the lady the other night, and she was talking about the uh, Indian reserve, yes, she, the re Indian yes. reservation that she gives to in South Dakota. Is that yes, right? and um, she was saying that they, they, she got her Christmas list from her person, her little girl or some, and it was like, what did they ask for? Like one little, one wanted a pair of uh, sweatpants. Yes, a pair of sweatpants. Those are the things that those kids were asking for, and this is in our country. And they weren't asking. They weren't asking for toys. No. They, you know. And you know, I know kids that pants. they don't get their favorite iPad or whatever they, you know, their fits. We don't, something technical. What you, you, right? You had asked them to comment oh, yes. um, what they were thankful for. And dad put that he is thankful for his prosthetic leg. And he's also thankful that he still has a real leg. Yes. And we can join that thankfulness too with him because Amen. we are very grateful he is yes. getting around yes. and um, it's, so proud of. of so proud of his his uh, success. Improvement. Uh, well, um, attitude. His attitude. <laughs> his attitude was so great through the whole, the whole thing. thing. Yes. And but his his progress has been That's so quicker. quicker than you know what I think the doctors even anticipated. Which is what and we the, prayed for. <laughs> and the therapist, so, you know, yeah. But yeah. So thank you for that comment. He, he's sitting in the couch. <laughs> So, yes, I just wanted to point that yes. out. So, sorry to, yes. to interrupt. Thank you. Yes, we are very thankful. Thankful to be here with each other. And thankful for, um, thankful for a firmness that's working. <laughs>
They're laughing at me because I actually was warm and I had the ceiling fan on. Because I'm usually the cold one in the family. They're and <coughs> I feel like we might be in the middle of winter and I'll be up here in a tank top. <laughs> But no, I'm grateful that their furnace is working. Yes, yes. <laughs> that's a, that's furnace. on our prayer list. Yes, prayer they list needed right the, they're, they're praying we for, need they're a new furnace. for a new furnace, so today it's working. With, with an automatic <laughs> pilot, so that I don't have to go in and <laughs> light the pilot light. Praise lights. God. Praise we'll God. We are running you know, time our time's now. about up. I just, I don't, where, I don't know where the time goes. I don't just, know where I have fun, and uh, I really pray that you you get something out of this that that you can find something you know to be thankful for, sure. and um, write your comments write, and like again prayer requests or we we want to hear if you have any testimonies we'd like to hear testimonies too so and um, we can't just close without saying a prayer of of salvation so if it, if you haven't received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and you, it's just, you need to ex accept him. And I just want to pray with you right now. And so you can, I'll pray and then you can just um, repeat after me. So God, we just come to you. God, I just come to you. Knowing that there's lack in our lives. Knowing that there's lack in my life. My life is empty. My life is empty. And I don't know what to do except to change it myself. I don't know what to do to change it myself. I know that Jesus Christ is your son. I know that Jesus Christ is your son. I know that he gave his life for me. I know that he gave his life for me. And I am willing to accept him. And I am willing to accept him. So Jesus, right now I ask you to come into my heart. So Jesus, right now I ask you to come into my heart. Make my life what you would want it to be. Make my life what you would want it to be. I thank you. I thank you. I am grateful to you. I am grateful to you. I praise you. I praise you. And I am so willing to give myself to you. I am so willing to give myself to you. I'm tired of trying to do it on my own. I'm tired of trying to do it on my own. In <coughs> Jesus' name I pray. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. So if you've prayed that for the first time and you've accepted Jesus into your heart, please let us know. Contact us some way. You, she's told you how to, to contact us. Or tell a friend, a family member, tell a neighbor. Tell someone because it's important yeah. that you give your testimony. Yeah. Find and a local church. Find Definitely find a local church. If you haven't attended a church, uh, find one. You're more than welcome to come here. Uh, there's The Chamber of Commerce has a, I'm sure has a list of churches in the area. Um but you need to be plugged into a local church. Get planted and get, start growing and, and start um, developing a, on your journey, your walk with the Lord. Um, if you didn't pray that prayer for the first time, um, and you, what was the rest of that? <laughs> if, you, if, if you prayed that prayer before and you're rededicating your life, why, is that where that, you were going? That's, that's where I was going. I don't know, my mind just went. Uh, our but, trains are kind of squirrely today. Yeah, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. So, um, but you know, if you if you've kind of walked away from the Lord mm -hmm. and you prayed that and you've prayed it before, um, we we encourage you to get back, mm -hmm. to get back into a, a local church, to get back into a family, a church family that loves you and wants to see you be successful in your journey with the Lord. So. Okay. I guess that's okay. all. Thank you for tuning in. We will see you in two weeks. Two weeks. All right. God so bless that, you. That will be December. Already. It will be December. It will be the first already. week of December. We'll be back. Enjoy the reruns. Happy Thanksgiving. Have a great day. Be blessed.